Hello, foodies. It is I, Samaz, and Angel. And we are here to do yet another review of food. Last time we did it, you guys asked for more, so we're going to give you more. And this time, it is going to be something that is really, really good. What are we reviewing, Angel? By Brazil. And all you can eat, Brazilian barbecue. Now, for those of you who never had Brazilian all you can eat barbecue, it's really cool. What happens is they come to your table and they bring you these delicious, juicy mouth-watering pieces of meat. They cut it to your perfection, lay it on your plate, and you just devour it. Am I right? That is correct. It's juicy, tender. It is so delicious. You just want to keep going and going and going. But right, it doesn't happen that way. <laughs> you have to eventually stop. The good thing about this place is that the food is really, really good as far as the meats are concerned. Uh, a couple of years back, we went and it really wasn't as good as it was now because they had a different owner and it was... Uh... So they have a new owner who is from Brazil and she takes pride in the meat and pride in the service and that's why we decided to come back. The last time that we went, it was not as good as this one. This time, it really impressed the hell out of me. Yes, it reminded me of how it was before. The meats that they have is sirloin steaks, skirt steaks, garlic ribs. Oh my God, what else do they have? Oh man, they had little, uh, I believe it was a uh, barbecue rib, sausage. Each week, they change one meat. Because I know what it is, we didn't have, they didn't bring us the chicken this time. I don't, know if, right. I don't know if you noticed that. So each week, they're trying to change at least only one type of meat. The only meats that I really like, well, I like all the meat, but the top sirloin is truly my favorite. What uh, meat is your favorite? The sausage. The Polish sausage. you got to have that. I tried the Brazilian sausage. No, this is odd. I didn't, I didn't like it. <laughs> but the Polish... I really enjoy that. You gotta have that sirloin steak with a little fat in it. The fat is what makes the steak. Yeah, he loves the fat on that. You, and as you can see, we're showing you right now uh, some of the meats as far as the the sausages. You saw the sausages are, when the sausages are coming up. The sausages are so good. The Brazilian sausages were really small and they reminded you a little bit of breakfast sausages. Breakfast didn't sausages, they? yeah, they did. And I don't. I'm not into breakfast sausage or anything that doesn't taste like Polish sausage. I know that's weird, but that's just my preference. You may enjoy the Brazilian sausage. You may want to give it a taste. Right. He wanted the Italian sausages, of course, but they didn't have Italian sausages. But the Polish sausages are really good. The garlic steak, oh, my God. It was, I was, he really is not into meats as far as that goes. But the garlic steak to me was really, really good. I try to try um, every piece of meat that's you know that they serve to us the only thing i won't try is the chicken i don't like how the chicken looks and i don't really care for the taste so the chicken man eh, i'm not going to say steer away from the chicken because some people may like it but the chicken oh and also the pork i don't really um i don't really care for the pork as far as the chicken i think she doesn't like it because it's too well seasoned i don't know if that makes sense but it's too salty let me put it that way it's I think they cooked it with sea salt, which is a little bit more salty than the average chicken that you cook at home. A little more salty than average chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. Um, on my plate, you can see I had collard greens, rice, and these cheese breads. Oh my God, they're little uh, balls of, of, of bread and cheese. And when I tell you, they are delicious. You have to have to have to try those. He likes the garlic, uh, the garlic bread, but I like the I little the cheese bread. bread. She does. She right. loves the gar the uh, the little cheese cheese bread balls. You gotta try. Them. You gotta try them. You gotta try it. So on my plate, collard greens, rice, uh, the cheese bread, and salad. Now, as far as the collard greens, uh, for those who you who who love the flavor of collard greens when it's cooked in uh, either pork or you know bacon or pork so it's it's not 
this kind of collard green at all. Uh, it's a little bit more watery, um, and it's but I like it. You know, don't get me wrong. I care. I like it. I like it a lot. But most people will probably, if you're going in there to think that it's the collard green that you would get from a soul food restaurant, don't don't fool yourself. It's not going to. It's not happening. What did you have on your plate? That was Spanish style greens, huh? No, they weren't. T- Come on, it's a Brazilian place. It's not Spanish style greens. But what did you have on your plate? I had rice, eggs, and on top of the eggs, as you can see, there is a kind of like a cilantro sauce. Love it. Gotta have it. And my garlic bread, of course. Yeah, he likes the garlic bread, but... And the uh, pico de gallo. Don't forget the pico de gallo. I almost forgot that. Yeah, he really likes the pico de gallo. They do have a buffet. Um, if you want to get the buffet and not get the uh, the meat, which I would not suggest, because if you're going to a Brazilian, you know, barbecue place, not to get the Brazilian meat doesn't make any sense. But they do have a buffet. Uh, on the buffet is um, the cheese breads, of course, black beans. What else, babe? The brown rice, white rice. They also have the pico de gallo. They have the black beans plantains, yuca, which is fried. I believe it's fried. I've never tasted the yuca um, because I'm not a yuca fan. It's kind of, to me, it's dry. So it must must have been fried. Yeah, I didn't care for it. They also have potatoes. They have beef stroganoff and a different other type of soup. I apologize. We didn't get the name of the soup. I only reason why I remember it was beef stroganoff because I'm like, beef stroganoff, that's okay. You know, they do have, um, I think, a chicken. I think they have chicken on there too. Am I right or am I wrong about that? I don't think this time they had the chicken, did they? No, they didn't have the chicken. They had the, uh, I believe it was the tuna, like a tuna salad, which yeah. didn't make sense. But remember what we say today if you go, whoever's in the LA area, they might have something different. So, like we said, she doesn't remember the soup because each week they change the soup type at least one. Yeah, because I didn't see the beef stroke not before. They also have uh, different arrays of salads, fruits. Uh, they have a macaroni salad, of course, a green salad, uh, cucumbers, orange, watermelon. We didn't see the and watermelon I missed last it. time. I know. I, mean, I missed the watermelon. I would have grabbed me a watermelon, the orange. They also have, uh, get this, Greek olives in a Brazilian place. Do they even have a Brazilian olives? <laughs> Oh my God, they're good. The Greek olives are really, really good. The thing that got me is that when we were looking over the videos, we didn't even see that we saw the watermelon as we were looking over the videos because I would have definitely got a couple of pieces of the the watermelon. It looked so right. juicy as you guys can see on the film, but uh, we didn't even see that. They also have sautéed. No, what not called sautéed onions when they're. Is that what it was? Not sautéed onions. They're onions with. Uh, vinegar and a little bit of water which makes it a little bit salty it, it's a it's a really good flavor to me yeah the onions are really good I put the onions on top of my salad uh, they have two types of dressing the cilantro and what was the other dressing the other dressing I don't remember the other dressing yeah I don't remember what the other dressing was either so sorry about that you guys like I said we went when we go we basically I hate to say it but we're looking in, in the directions where we know what we want, which is probably need to venture out a little bit more, especially for you guys. We can tell you what's going on because we didn't even notice once again the watermelon. I can't believe I didn't notice that. The watermelon and the orange. I can't believe we missed that. And the orange. Now, he got something that I didn't get. Tell him what it was. Oh, what I had. And let me say this. I'm going to call it the ooh-wee moment. Because, oh my God, when I tell you, you have to try this. It's a grilled pineapple caramelized with cinnamon. It is so juicy. You have never tasted anything like it. You must, must, must try it. I skipped over that. I'm not really, I like pineapple, but no. I like pineapple, but not warm pineapple and the cinnamon everything not saying it wasn't good I don't know I didn't try it but it's just that I don't like the texture of and I don't like the feel of warm pineapple so I just it smells good over though, it. Though, didn't it? it did smell good I got a piece but I gave it to him 
because he was greedy and didn't want them to know that he was going to be greedy. <laughs> <laughs> so he got two pieces of it, and I just got a piece just to give it to him. I sure did. I said, babe, order me one. <laughs> yeah, he did. Now, to me, the best part of the ending of the meal is their Brazilian coffee. Oh, my God. That's our drug. (laughs) That coffee. I cannot... I can't even express to you the taste of the coffee. It's rich. It has a bold flavor. It is not like any coffee that you've had before. Let's just say this is not your Starbucks coffee. It really isn't. This is really... Don't come for me, Starbucks, but this is really good coffee. You can, if they wanted to sell and put Starbucks out of business, they could. It's really good coffee. Am I exaggerating? Or am I? It is exactly what she said, people. It is so delicious. It's just something different, something refreshing. For those who love coffee, you're really going to appreciate this cup of coffee. They give it to you in the smallest little cup of coffee that you can imagine. That's why they're smart about it. And we always get a second cup, though. We have to bribe our waiters, white waitress. <laughs> That's not true. We don't bribe them. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, he doesn't. Uh, the The first cup is complimentary, but like I said, like he said, it is a really small cup, but it's a complimentary cup because they know that once you taste it, you're going to be hooked on that, so they know. Our drink of choice was lemonade, and lemonade was really good, wasn't it? It was. It was um, fresh. I believe it was homemade, because I, I didn't see any uh, machinery that any restaurant would have, you know, like Coke, Pepsi, and stuff like that. If you do order something uh, besides the lemonade, they bring it to you in a can. Right. Right. They don't have a fountain. They don't have fountain drinks, so everything is presented to you in a can if you drink uh, soft drinks. But uh, we got the lemonade, and the lemonade was really, really good. It was good lemonade. They also have a little place where, for those drinkers, they do have a bar. Uh, And last time I was there, I didn't get a drink. I usually taste at least one. But they have varieties of... uh, different liquor the price of the buffet does vary from lunch to dinner uh the buffet during the week the monday through friday is 11 to 3 that's 11 a.m to 3 p.m it's 14.99 uh if you get the dinner that's 5 to 9 30 that's 24.99 for the buffet only and if you want to have the meat it's 34.99 so it's only ten dollars more because like i said if you're going to eat at a brazilian barbecue it, it, to me, it just doesn't make sense just to get the buffet only and not get the meat. The lunch and dinner uh, on the weekends is a little bit higher. The, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think the buffet is like twenty-seven dollars. We'll see that on the. We'll show it actually. Yeah, I think it's twenty-seven. Twenty-nine. Okay, I apologize. Twenty-nine ninety-nine for the buffet. So it is a little bit higher during uh, during the weekend than it is during the week. But it, I, I me myself, I think I would prefer going. Uh, the buffet at lunchtime instead of at dinner because it because the price can kind of elevate a little bit correct that is correct is it worth it yes well let's talk about that so we have a score from one to ten as you guys know uh so let's talk about the service okay as far as the service when you get in there you serve yourself this is a self-serve it's not like you call the waiter the waitress or the waiter gonna have this and that no they sit you down you grab a plate and you walk to the buffet area you get your salad your rice whatever is gonna go along with the meat now remember they smart about it (laughs) so you have to outsmart them you sit down and you wait for your meat because if you start eating your your salad, your rice, you're gonna get full, and of course you're not gonna enjoy the meat as long as you want to. That's what I do. So what would you give it between one and ten? Between one and ten, as far as the waiting time, uh, I give them a seven. I have to agree. I have to agree. The service. Once the once he starts coming around with the uh, with the barbecue, it is a little bit quicker because you know they have every they serve 
I guess, in, you know, in order of whoever comes in, which is good. But he's right. So we sit there and talk for a little while, then we get up and get our side. So we sit there, and normally as a rule, they come around. But one thing that I've noticed that when I get a piece of barbecue that I like, I would like for them to come back with that piece of barbecue like quickly, but they don't do that. You have to actually wait till they go all around. Like if you say if they put down a skirt steak, a piece of skirt steak, and you like it, you want to have that skirt steak again. You have to wait till they come around with the skirt steak again. So it's not like you say, "Hey, can you bring me that skirt steak right now?" It, it doesn't work like that. They have to go around until they go back to the skirt steak again, and then they bring it to you. They have so, procedures. Procedure. Yeah, procedure. <laughs> procedure. <laughs> so I would give it a seven. Presentation. It's not really type of presentation. Like I said, you, it's not like there's a uh, tablecloth. You just a straight down home type of thing. Um, right. I'll give it. That's a, a hard one. Yeah, that's a hard one because the presentation. Because normally when somebody says presentation, the first thing that comes to my mind is what's how your plate right, what's is on the table. being served. It. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of, as he said, you basically it's a self-serve. So it's kind of hard to say unless you want to say how they put the <laughs> the barbecue on your plate, which, hello, you know, right. you guys seen it. <laughs> so presentation, I, I that's a hard one with this one. That's a really hard one. Let's stay with the seven. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a seven. Okay, seven. Taste. Taste. Mm. It's delicious. I mean, I'll go for a nine. I I would go for a ten. I, I honestly I can't see anything wrong with the barbecue at all. Now, if we want to put the barbecue in the in the buffet in it, then I have to go for a nine because I think the it could be a little bit better choices as far as the buffet goes, but. You know, it's it's like it, it could be basically just like I said, a better choice. So I think I give it a nine. Okay, before you move on to the next one, I apologize. This is not a place that you just want to go and have the salad bar. Okay. Right. For that, I suggest Sizzler. So in this particular, like you said, you probably we're just rating the meat. Which right, I give it a nine. Yeah, I give it a nine. I give it a nine. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Okay, let me explain the atmosphere. On the weekends, it's loud. It's crowded. Think of it of uh, a bar that you take your friends for a football game, a baseball game, a basketball game. That type of loudness. I don't agree. It's it's not that loud. <laughs> Have you ever been to a a sports bar? It's it's not that loud. When I say atmosphere, I'm more or less talking about uh, the decor too. It is definitely a hole in the wall. Um, it needs a lot of fix up. It really really does. And not to say that it's not a you know a nice place to eat, but it does. It needs a lot of a lot of work. And from my understanding, from talking to the waitress, that's going to be happening pretty soon. But it needs a lot of work. It's To me, it's not that loud. Because when he says loud is a, a sports bar, I don't think it's that loud. It is, you know, you have people that are engaged in conversation during the, you know, when you're eating and everything. But I don't think it's as loud as a sports bar. But as far as the decor goes, you know, it, it leaves a, a lot to be desired. You can tell that it really needs a lot of work. Um, the fact that where it's located could have a lot to do with it because it's in Old Torrance. Those of you not from California wouldn't even understand what Old Torrance is, but um, it's in a place where I don't know. It, it could have a. It, it honestly has a lot more potential if they would work on the decor. But I think that they're too uh, too occupied with with the food, which is great. You know, they want to make sure the food is good. But I don't think they would get a lot more people there. If they had um, better decor, I think if they kind of like upgraded a little bit, I don't know if, if Angel would agree with that, but I think if they upgrade a little bit, it would it would be a lot more people. But hey, it's it's a good place for food, and you know, you, you don't if you don't want to go for the atmosphere, which we don't go for the atmosphere, we go for the barbecue. <laughs> then it's, I give you it's, that. It's, uh, you know, right? It's a good place to go to. You know, you just want to really sit down and have some good barbecue and. 
all you can eat, and that's that's what we go for. We don't really go for the atmosphere or anything like that. We could I could care less what Billy Bob or Janie Sue is doing next or what they're talking about. That's not what I'm in there for. You know, it's not a cheers atmosphere where everybody knows your name, but it's a place where you want to go and really right. enjoy the food. Uh, price. I'm a little kind of long. Yeah, on the... it's it's a little expensive. Mm-hmm. It's, it is. It's a little expensive. I, I really don't understand why on some days it's more than the weekends. It's a little bit more. You know what I mean? Right. So I don't get that because it's not like you get a better meat of choice. A better choice of meat. Let me put it that way. Than other days. It's the same barbecue, same salad bar. Yeah, they do change a few items here and there, you know, once a week or whatever, but uh, I'll give it a seven. Um, I can kind of interject in what he says as far as the pricing. I think that they, and I know this is wrong for me to say, I think that they have the prices more because they know more people are coming. As he said, on the weekends, there is a lot more people there. I honestly think the reason why the prices are lower during the week to get more people in. On the weekends, I think they know that people are going to come either way it goes. Because normally, as a rule, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they're packed. So I don't think that they really look to lower the price on those days because they know people are going to come they're going to pay for it during the week to get more people in because that's probably the the week's time they have people coming in and out i think that's why they lower their price i really think that's, that's the smart, reason why i didn't think about it price. that way okay yeah i think I that's what that. it is as far as as far as price i give it a seven it could be a little bit more um if they serve a little bit more as far as the buffet you know and maybe um you know, different choices on the buffet than, uh, but honestly, thirty four ninety nine is a bit steep. It really, really, even twenty four ninety nine for a buffet is a bit steep without any having any meats. If you think about it, twenty four ninety nine for what we showed you as far as the eggs and you know the olives, the beef stroganoff, the rice, that's a little steep. Twenty four ninety nine for just a buffet during the right. you know during dinner time. That's a little you know a little steep. Lunchtime is fourteen ninety nine, which isn't too bad, but you know with a buffet, even with any buffet, you get some type of meat on that buffet. And with this one, I don't think you do. So as far as I have to agree with him, I, I actually would give it a six and a half. <laughs> I give it a six and a half. So I'm not you know I think that the, but I think that is honestly the reason why the the prices are elevated on the weekends. Okay. As far as our uh, score goes, I didn't even keep up with what I just said, so we're going to score it. <laughs> we're going to score it. We're just going to round it off to a score of, um, I say, uh, 40? 40. 40 out of 50. Yes, I say 40 out of 50. But honestly, not to deter you from the place, because honestly, it is really, really, yes. really good. Yeah, it's really good barbecue. And if you like all you can eat barbecue, and you, you know, if you, I, but I would definitely say go there hungry. I definitely agree with that. Go hungry. Go with uh, a loved one, a friend that you're really going to enjoy it. Um, Because like she said, the atmosphere, you're not going for that. You're going for the meat. That's what you're going for. You're not going for the salad bar. Right. You're going for the barbecue. That's what you're going for. Their address is 1615 Cabrillo Avenue. That's C-A-B-R-I-L-L-O. Like Jello. That's in Torrance, California. And that's 310-782-2828. If you're in the California area and you want to have some really good barbecue, that would be the place that I would suggest. Torrance it's a good little atmosphere in Torrance as far as the city goes. There's a lot to do there. If you want to just go and make a day of it, I would suggest to go and make a day of it. But as far as it goes, I really, you know, we, we both recommend this. We highly recommend this. Place. Yes. So that is our conclusion of by Brazil. If you have any place that you want us to go that you think we can afford. <laughs> <laughs> or even if make... you want to invite us, hey. <laughs> hey, we will go. We if will you go. Pay for, right, we will go. If you want to pay for us, we'll definitely be there. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for joining us and uh, allowing us to take your time. Until next time, happy eating. Buen appetito.